Joshua, the director of this year's musical Frozen. We're so excited to get the show started for you all. The kids are very eager backstage. Okay. So I'm going to leave the mic with okay. Mr. Joshua. You know, Thank you all for coming out today. We had an awesome first show opening night last night. We were super proud of the kids, and I think today's going to be even better. So you guys are in for a real treat. Just a few reminders, please turn off all cell phones as they will interfere with our sound system. And please keep the aisles clear of feet, bags, and anything else as our cast will be walking through them at various points of the show. And if anybody needs to leave or needs to use the restroom, you can go out those doors and to the left or right, you can find restrooms on the other side. So, I'm going to call out my storytellers. My storytellers here are going to take you all through the magical story of Disney's Frozen, portrayed by our Garnet Valley Elementary School fifth graders. So, I'm going to pass the mic over to them, and they're going to get you guys started. Enjoy the show! Hugs and the bright sun 
would be totally strange. But wow, am I so ready for this change? Cause for the first
I say something crazy? Will you marry me? Did I say something even crazier? Yes. <laughs>
Blizzard and no one will give us a <laughs> Yeah, what's your name again, Hello, I'm Princess Anna of Arangel, and I could use help finding my sister, Queen Elsa. You could use help? My name's Kristoff. I sell ice for a living. Well, that doesn't seem very profitable right now. <laughs> yeah, if your sister can run all ice crazy, you ruined my business. Oh no, it was my fault. I got engaged to Prince Hans, and Elsa freaked out, because I just met him, you know. Today? <laughs> you got engaged to a man you just met? Yeah, why is everyone so hung up on that? I put good instincts. I wouldn't go that way if I were you. Oh yeah? Which way would you go? Well, the storm's coming from the North Mountain, and I know how to get there. And I'm assuming your sister's there. Okay, Kristoff, you're hired. So, did you know your sister could do all this? I didn't know anything. Well, you know those people who disappeared to the North Mountain want to be alone. Nobody wants to be alone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Olaf, did Elsa build you? Yeah, I don't know why. Do you know where she is? Yeah, why? Did you show us the way? Yeah, why? I'll tell you why. We need Elsa to bring back Summer. Summer? Oh, I don't know why, but I've always loved the idea of Summer. I'm assuming you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. A drink in my hand, a snow against the burning sand, proudly getting gorgeously dirty in the summer. I'll finally see a summer breeze blow away a winter storm, and find out what happens to solid water where they get warm. <laughs> and I can't wait to see, but my buddies all think of me. Imagine how much cool I'll be in summer! <laughs> the hot and cold are both so intense, put them together, it just makes sense. Winter's a good time to stay in and cuddle, but put me in summer and I'll be a happy snowman! <laughs>
from me. Actually, you kind of set off an eternal winter everywhere. Everywhere? But it's okay, you can just unfreeze it. No, I don't know how. Oh, so we can face this together. I'm not afraid. I'm such a fool. I can't control the goat hitter. I know you can fix this. No, I can't. Anna, are you okay? I'm fine. Anna, I'm begging you. Go home. Elsa, I'm feeling the shock of your powers. I'll what? be okay. What? Come on. I have some friends who can help. They're healers. You aren't reindeer? Hey! Yes, I have friends who aren't reindeer. Well, they're more like family. They took fun of me in when we had no one. <laughs>